So the page in my wreck this journal, um, this is the figure out a way to freeze this page. I decorated it last night while I was Skyping with my best friend Tiffany. So here goes nothing. I'm going to tear it out. So I want a good, nice tear. Good, nice tear. Page is officially out of my Rectus journal. Again, this is what the before shot looks like of the page before anything happens to it. Already like folded my page and stuck it in my Ziploc baggie. And now I'm going to not pour the entire thing, but pour at least a little bit of this water into the baggie with the page. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Okay. Okay, I can do this. Do this. I don't know how much of this I should pour. I'm not sure if I want to get the entire thing wet. Okay, just a little bit more. Okay. Whoops, I just got it on the floor. It's okay, it'll die. It's turning kind of pink. You can't really see it, but I have my piece of page in a Ziploc baggie with some water. And it took like literally like almost the entire cup of water to do this. And now I'm just zipping her up. I'm officially outside and my cat is watching me with my mother. <laughs> and we had a dusting of snow. It wasn't too much, but... And um, it's kind of really, really cold out here. So I'm going to find a place to hide this and leave it out here overnight and see if it freezes and then come back in the morning and get it. And then, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, I think I'm going to hide it in the grill. Because nobody's going to be able to find it there. Maybe. We'll see. Ugh. Okay. It's in there. <laughs> Ew, it looks all nasty. Now I guess I'm gonna come back out here tomorrow morning and see if it's frozen. Like, ha, huh, you get it? Olaf, frozen? Yeah. So the whole putting my page outside trick did not work. It kind of failed badly. Um, I came out there the next day and it was not froze at all. It was mostly still water. It just had like a few ice cubes in it. And so I left it out there for a second night and um, came out just a few minutes ago and this time the ice cubes were melted and it was just all water. And I really want a full blown effect with this page before I put it back in my book somehow because that's the whole point of freezing this page. So. I put it in a different baggie and filled it up with more water and I'm going to try to leave it in here overnight and come in here like the next day or two and see what happens. But I let my page freeze overnight in the freezer and this time it actually worked. It actually... Um, froze so much in there that the top of it, which I left out, is completely frozen. So, this thing will focus. <laughs> you don't even see a page when, at first glance. And then you flip it around and you can see my page kind of buried on the inside of the ginormous ice cube that is in there. The whole putting it in the freezer thing does work. 
So you can see Olaf a little bit in this page, on this page. He looks a little messed up. I can't really tell. But, yep. So I'm going to try putting this in the bathtub and trying to let it thaw out overnight. It may need a little bit more time than just overnight, but we'll see what happens after that. So I'm just going to try to let all of the ice cube melt and then um, let the page dry off and scrub this page page. And I'm going to be using some ivory body wash soap and an old nasty hair stuck to it toothbrush <laughs> that my mom uses to get stains out of clothes. And I am concealing the page behind it with some wax paper just so it doesn't get on the other side and get on the other page of the book. So hopefully it doesn't get the other side wet. But if it does, that's the whole point. Got snow sunglasses overnight. So he's ready for the sun and the winter. All in one. Cool, froggy. So, two of the guys that did my makeup at the Hana Barn this past season for Annabelle and for several different things that I did there invited me to do a photo shoot with them um, not too long ago. And so I agreed to that, and um, their special effects makeup team, by the way, is called the DRK. It stands for Die Rise Kill. I think it has something to do with zombies, I'm not exactly sure. But um, I thought it was really, really cool that they invited me to do a photo shoot with them because it's like a dark and scary themed photo shoot, so I get to like help them choose what kind of pictures I want them to take because they're like really good at Photoshop. and photoshopping stuff and I went for a practice photo shoot the other day and he just sent me a sample picture last night of what it was going to look like and it looked so cool and so good for just like a sample picture so. By the time I post this video you guys probably have already seen um this week's Wreck This Journal video. And there was a page in that book, it was the ugly drawing page, I drew a dead roadkill possum and I said that I was going to tell the funny story that was behind that in a different video and I figured why not let it be this video. So one night, me, my mom, and my dad, and JR um, were driving JR home and I think we were on a pickle run. It was like almost 2 o'clock in the morning. And here we are going to a store to get a jar of pickles because I love pickles. I just cannot live without my pickles. And I was craving pickles for some odd reason that night and just made my dad take us to the store so I could get some pickles. So here we are driving to the store to get some pickles. And JR and my dad were in the middle of a very deep, serious conversation. And it's dark outside and stuff because, you know, it's almost 2 o'clock in the morning. And all of a sudden, my mom yells out, POSSUM! And then all you hear is, ba doom 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 And it just, like, turns into silence. And we're all just sitting there. And JR looks over at me, and I look over at JR. And all of a sudden, I'm just, like busting out laughing like I kind of felt bad for the guy but at the same time it was just really really funny because all I heard was possum and then 
the thump after the possum, so it was kind of funny, but I kind of feel bad for it at the same time, but... Wubsy and Cuddles' is first snow. Cuddles. What is that? Wubsy, what is that? Mr. Rocco. Mr. Rocco. He's staying warm. Yes, he is. This is his wormy. It's supposed to be a moth, but it looks like a worm. Here you go. He's a big baby. Yes, he is. He's a big baby. <laughs> 